There we go. How is everyone doing? We laugh, baby. We laugh. Bit early, you know, and that's new for me because I'm usually late, bro. How are my broskies doing? Can you leave? Can you hear me loud and clear, rather? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Now, it has been brought to my attention, or brought to my attention, rather, that we might be getting a pair of shoes that I have been after for a while. And obviously, the title kind of gives it away and the thumbnail. But before we get started, how's everyone doing? Can you hear me? First and foremost, comment down below, leave it in the live chat. And I think we'll get started in a couple minutes because I am a couple minutes early, you know. So we'll start at five properly. We'll get the waffle on. And before we do that, how is everyone? How is everyone? Uh, yes, let me get my websites up and running first. Also, why is this not working, bro? There we go. There we go. That's it. Oh, man. What a time, eh? What a time. Yeezys, left, right, and center. And Nike are trying to do things they shouldn't really do, if you ask me. But yes, we will ask what seven people here. How many likes we got, though? Because... The maths, the maths, math, the math needs to be mathing. Um, okay. Yes. Right. We're almost ready to start. One more minute to go. I've got so much going on right now. I'm holding my iPad, trying to navigate the stream. I'm watching my stream on my phone and the laptops here. I don't even have a desk. So it's like some judge. Okay, so the mic looks all good. Can you guys hear me? I think you can. Otherwise, you would have said something by now. Right. Who's ready? It is almost five o'clock. How's everyone doing? Come on. Let's get the waffle on in the live chat. All right. I think we'll get started. Mike, how's it going, bro? How is it going? Okay, looks like we're going to get started, I think. I think so, I, I, I think so. Yes, yeah, Source, Source Mac, I like that, that's a cool name. All right, you guys ready? How's it going, broski? All good, all good. What's today, Monday? Tuesday, I'm losing track of days. Okay, it's five o'clock, we've got six pe people watching which is amazing. Um, hope you're all doing good. Hope you're out here saving money where you can, if you can. But there's a lot of releases that we will talk about. Some we, we might not need, some you might like. So who am I to judge? And I think it's about time we address the elephant in the room. And let's transition. Can we transition? Does it work? I can't even speak English today, mate. Ah, oh, you like that. That was nice. Twice as nice. Um, yes, obviously in the title and the thumbnail, we are talking about the return of the Wave Runner. And honestly, I didn't see this coming. It might have been a bit obvious to you guys who actually like Yeezys and buy them. Because I don't really buy them, I'll be honest with you. Um, the occasional one will pop up like a slide, um, a foam runner. And I've had these before when they first dropped. I got rid of them, you know, long story short, I needed the money, you know, and it has been one of my regrets ever since. And in my opinion, in my humble, honest opinion, this is the greatest Yeezy ever made. Now, some might argue against it. I don't really care. It's my opinion. I'm entitled to like what I like, say what I say. But I do believe it. I mean, it's an expensive Yeezy, very expensive one. 
um, if not one of the most expensive ones. And especially, you know, if it's coming out soon, you just know it's going to be probably around the 250 mark, which is crazy, you know, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, it's basically the New Balance version to a Yeezy. Of course, that's what Ye was going for. And it is meant to be returning. I hope you guys can see it on the screen. Um, yeah, it's meant to be returning on the 16th, which is crazy. It's going to be on the confirmed app, apparently. And one sec, let me sort out my headphone wire. There we go. Okay, I'm not going to read all of this because um, it's long. Uh, but basically, it goes on to say that these here, all these Yeezys here, okay, are going to be releasing on the 16th and available allegedly on the 17th. Now, I don't know if it's a regional exclusive, if it's America first, then Europe and UK after, or if it's just worldwide kind of thing. It looks like they're going to do it how they did it. Uh, the last couple drops where America got a couple drops early then a couple days later, UK got them or Europe. But I'm interested, man, because there's some questionable ones here. I'll be real. Not really a fan of any of them apart from the wave runners and the slides. Now the slides, I've had this color before and I've let them go just because, you know, I don't see myself wearing them and they're very comfortable. Yeah. As a lot of you may know, but it's just the fact that the bit of the toe where the bridge is, it just, I haven't got used to that yet. And I love my Benassi slides. I love my, you know, my victory ones and my Nike Asunas and also my off court. So it's like, is it worth the trade off? I could just, you know, sell them for money if I wanted to, or just give them away or whatever I'm going to do with them. And for 60 quid at retail, I don't know, bro. I don't know. But yeah, so these are the ones meant to be dropping on the 16th slash 17th. And this one right here, the Wave Runner is the one I might go for. I might, you know, I've got to see what my account's saying because it's been a tough year, bro. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think though? Like, do you think you'll be going for any of these? Have you got any of the latest easy drops or... Are you just not bothered? Because it feels like it's a bit played out now. It feels like what Yeezy are trying to do is sort of generate hype that isn't there. And it's sort of like that scare tactic or of I'm never going to be able to get these again. Oh, these are the last Yeezys ever. This, this, that. And we're not ever working on a Yeezy again, whatever, whatever. F claims from Adidas. But no one gives an absolute pony do you know what i mean um and for those who aren't english basically no one cares yeah so you can always get them on the aftermarket like a resale market and the, you most likely will be able to get them under retail anyway so it's not that deep for a lot of people myself included if you really want them you can get them um the wave runner though it's one of those ones it's one of them things where i wish i kept hold of them but the money i got them for it was pretty good. I can't lie to you uh, when they first dropped. And yeah, it's one of those sneakers. It's going to be an expensive one if I get it. But the retail is near enough like resale prices. So is it worth it? I don't know. But it's one of them things you kind of want just for the sake of having them in your collection. And yeah, they're bloody comfortable, mate. <laughs> they are bloody comfortable. Um, but yeah. I personally think the best Yeezy ever made. I know some people might disagree, you know, whatever. We're waffling now, but that's the whole point of Weekly Waffle. But welcome back to Weekly Waffle because I didn't I didn't welcome you back. Um, but yeah, these look absolute. Ugh, I don't know, man. I just don't know, man. You know, when you look back at now, like all the Yeezy designs and, and shoes that have come out, you sort of question people's like taste and integrity. And you're just like, why the hell would you spend this amount of money on these? Like hype is actually real. Like it's ridiculous. And you can say that with a lot of sneakers like Jordans and Dunks. But man, when you're out of that sort of bubble, when they're releasing every week and whatever else, you really think, bruh, how the hell? How the hell are people actually buying these and producing these? You know, but what do you guys think though? I know like 
you might be on the fence with a lot of these or the wave runners in particular because it's the wave runner and the slides mm, you know are people getting bored of them i don't think so but at the same time when I mean, you're spending that much money on them they better be worth it and they better be the colorway that you want you know let's be honest so yeah they're a cool slide cool colorway too you know probably one of the best ones uh but yeah so the last retro of course was in 2022 for the wave runner and yeah i think i think that's probably the only one along with the slides that's going to really sell out or people actually going to want them but let's see let's see um yeah i think that's pretty much it let's go back to sneaker news on the home page and see what else they've got going on see what i mean a lot of like waffle about easy stuff bro like we don't care like that like we actually don't care um yeah right so i think i'm done with the easy talk before we move on to the next uh topic what has been your latest pickup let's just go through the easy releases yeah it's a bit it's a bit mm, you know it's just one of them things like eh they come out they come out you know but right anyway let's move on i've already prepared it because i'm not you know organized to the nike calm mule yes you heard me right we're gonna go on complex just because you know i haven't been on there in a while but yeah the nike mules aka nike calm mules they look tragic <laughs> They look tragic, bro. But I know they're not for me, though. Like, they look like the perfect sort of croc alternative and perfect sort of shoe-ish, sandal-ish for, like, nurses or just leisure, you know? Like, they actually look like that. And it's great to see because I feel like crocs only really have crocs in that sort of design I know we've got the foam runners and it's a total different design if you ask me. That's more of a like a full-on shoe because you have to pull it on, lift up the lip or just put them in. But this one looks like very similar to the Croc and the Salehis. Um, yeah, but it just looks like too much of a clog. You know, like the old school wooden clog. Um, old wooden clog? Is that you? Yeah, clogs. You know, like oh man let's click on this one you know like it kind of gives me those vibes like the roundness i don't know man i don't know not for me not for me you know but obviously different colorways that's a very nice colorway this khaki very nice yeah very nice Ooh. oh we got a new subscriber anwar lopez welcome bro welcome my bro um yeah, it's a very nice colorway, I'll be honest. And it's not changed my mind, but it looks cool. It does look cool. So let's talk on what they're saying with it. So Nike will look to build off the success of its recently released Calm Slides. Yes, very popular. I wasn't too much of a fan, but you know, people did like them. Um, by introducing a Mule version, which is coming soon. Product images of the unreleased Nike Calm Mules have emerged this week which serve as an indication that the release will be happening shortly. The initial offerings of the Nike Calm Mules will include the tonal green, black and grey makeups. The Nike Calm Mule features an on-trend uh, design reminiscent of the popular Birkenstock, Boston and other mules. Yes, they do. Uh, the Calm Mule features a slip-on upper. Slip-on up? Mm, I don't know. I guess so. I guess if you lift off the back, you know, lift up the back kind of thing. Um, yeah, the medial side also has... Oh, we totally missed the whole paragraph, bro. So the Calm Mule features a slip-on upper that paired up with an adjustable strap on the sides and attached to a supportive foam patch on the heel. Uh, okay, I get it now. Uh, the medial side also has a large opening for ventilation. Yes, I haven't noticed that. Wow. That might, be, that might be a game changer for holiday uh, shoes. Um, yes. And the foam upper attaches directly onto the midsole, which the look is separated by the ribbed outsole. As of now, release date details of the Nike Calm Mules have yet to be announced by the swoosh 
check back soon. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just not sold, bro. These look true. No, not for me. Not for me. But you know what? I feel like there's a market there for them. Oh, am I touching stuff? On my iPad, my bad. Um, yeah. Also, I wanted to check out other colorways. Because I feel like with these things, it might just be the right colorway to sway you. But it doesn't look like it is, you know. Yeah, so this is the one, Soul Retriever. And the, the khaki one probably is the best one for me in terms of what I like. That looks really clean. I won't lie. That does look really clean. I'll zoom in. Yeah, that does. Well, I don't know. I think I need to see the medial side, man. There's no real like um, pictures of the medial side. It's all like the lateral side or, you know, top down. Uh, ch -ch -ch. No, you see, but that looks like a sort of, eh, I don't know, man. It kind of feels like, what's the point if it just looks like the, the bloody slide with a strap, like literally, now like, why? But yeah, the original Wave Runner, if it comes back, will cause resellers to panic. Yes, I agree. Because some of the prices now, and you know what? Thank you, Cyber Psychosis. That's a bloody cool name. Um, but we're going to check on StockX right now, actually, which we should have done earlier um, for the Wave Runner prices. Ooh, is it two words? I think it is. What the? Right, wave. There we go. I'm too quick. Or well, StockX can't keep up. You know? Hello. Uh, Yeezy 700. I'm not bugging out, bro. Like, what is happening? StockX is already bugging out with the releases. Okay, well, that flopped then. Um, yeah, this ain't working. Am I banned? I don't know. Shall I sign in? Let's just, oh, okay, forget all that then. Easy wave runner. No, let's just search this up and then go to products. Mm, let's hope it loads now. There we go. There we go. We got there. Um, okay, so my size would be, I guess, a UK nine and a half. Eh, I mean, it's not the worst that I've seen for the Wave Runners, and I know they've been like dropping anyway because the retail price was what two two five in the UK. Um, but you know, they'll probably drop to around three hundred, I guess, like when they do drop again. Uh, when a retro again, I guess you could say a retro, you know, they are technically a retro 2017, obviously release date. Uh, so it was a US retail price of 300. I don't remember that. I don't know. Maybe I just didn't pay attention enough. But anyway, yeah. So yeah, that's a good point. Um, Harry, what's happening, broski? Hope you're all good. Yeah, the original one, that was like ridiculous anyway in terms of the hype and and stuff like that but like let's just hope they keep it the original like they don't mess about with it at all or like cut corners you know because you know how some retros love to cut corners just to save on money in production and that sort of thing but it looks like it's all right so yes i feel like hopefully if you want to get them on the 16th slash 17th look out on the confirmed that because you know that's where it's all going to be happening. Um, yeah. So we're talking about the Nike Calm Mules. If you're just joining us, Harry, this one's for you. Um, I'm trying to figure out this little bit here, the medial bit. And I just can't bloody find a picture of the medial part of the Calm Mules. Uh, literally. Like, it's just all lateral side. Um, maybe if I can go on here excuse me um and go down a bit you see even on here there's no mute there's no medial maybe it just doesn't look good i feel like that's why they're not showing it i do like the nike at the back though 
on this picture here. That's a very nice, that's a very nice touch. I'll be honest. Um, but yeah, how can you not show the medial side? Like it's a bit weird. Definitely something not right there just because I think they're ugly. Look, look, you see that little bit here? I don't know if you can, ah, I'll try to go back. Yeah, this bit here, the medial side, like, I think there's a reason they're not showing it. And I think it just kind of looks a bit weird. Um, but yeah, I didn't like the calm slides anyway. I didn't really think they were comfortable. Like people actually liked them and they thought they were comfortable. But, you know, each to their own. You do you. Um, not for me. Look, failed. That's, I guess that's Hez Kicks. Like he's, he's notorious for being, you know, truthful like me. Just because they, you look like a, a Yeezy side. Um, yeah, not for me, man. Not for me. But yeah, you know what? Let's head over to Soul Supplier. Uh, let's see what they got going on. I love Soul Supplier. Big up, George. All good, thanks. How are you? I sold my 700s. Not bad, but wanted an Air Max only collection. Hmm, okay. Yeah, I think... Um, the 700s, I kind of feel like, are like, you know, they're iconic. I feel like they're the best Yeezys. And, um, yeah, I just, I kind of feel like those are the kicks I need to get back in the collection. You know, Ooh, where am I going? Let's look at some upcoming releases according to Soul Supplier. Now, I've just seen this drop on the SNS uh, website, um, the Nike Air Max 1 Bronze. Very clean colorway, I'll be honest with you. Um, but I feel like there's just something missing with this and I don't know what it is. I feel maybe I, I, I can't put a finger on it, man. I genuinely can't put a finger on it. Like, and I don't know what it is, like what is missing for me, but it's a very clean colorway. I'll be honest. Like I like the bronze, obviously it's kind of like a copper. Um, I like that sort of cream suede on the medial panels on the mid panels. Um, but there's just something, I don't know. I just don't know. Maybe if that white tab, the Nike Air Max tab was bronze as well. And a white, like Nike branding, amazing. But I don't know. I might probably like them in hand, like better than I do now. Uh, but yeah, they're cool. They're cool. It's a very nice colorway, man. Very autumn vibes. But you know what? I feel like this kind of colorway, this sort of orangey brown is kind of getting played out now, like with the Monarchs, with the Magmas, and just do something different, bro. Like, come on, give me like a cream, a mid creamy midsole. Give me, I don't know, some leather underlays, something different, bro. It's getting a bit played out now. If you ask me, they look they look clean though. They do look clean. Um, what else we got? Some New Balance collaborations with Ganny, Janny. They look, mm, these look nice. This colorway, that looks nice. This yellow one, nah, bro. Nah. What happened to my live chat, bro? Um, yeah, not for me though, not for me. What else we got going on? Um, all right, so we've got 17 people. And how many likes do we have? Is the question, bruh. Is the question. Let's do the maths, shall we? 14 people with eight likes. Okay. Thank you, people. Thank you, people. But I would appreciate if you like the video. Yeah. If you like the video. But let's stop. Oh, man. I'm such an amateur with live streaming. I do apologize. When I get my monitor and my desk set up, it will be a lot more professional, I promise. Um, there we go. There we go. I do apologize. Um, yeah. So we'll have a look at some more releases coming up. Uh, yeah, the Slate Greys. Obviously, we spoke about that with the Yeezys, the Foam Runners. Uh, sorry, Wave Runners. Um, Cortez. I feel like I need to talk about the Cortez in an upcoming video or a podcast because it really doesn't get the love it deserves. Um, this ain't even a bloody shoe I was trying to click on. The Humara. Um, yeah. 
Is the Cortez overrated? Is it a classic? Is it one of them shoes that just doesn't have any pull at all anymore? You know, we've had the Sakai collabs. We've had some cool colorways. We've had sort of like a resurgence this year. Um, I might do Cyber Psychosis. I might cover the upcoming sneakers day and list. Um, I'll have to see. I'll have to see. When I get a bit more time, because we've got a bit of a jam-packed week this week. That's why no videos have really been out. Um, yeah. But I will definitely get on that. I feel like it's cool, you know, like I think it's America's what first sneakers day. Um yeah. So yeah, it'll be cool, man. I'm gonna get on that. Terminators, Wednesday 23rd. These are nice. The Marseilles, the TN Air Max Plus. Very nice. Now I like the touch of the Marseille sort of like uh sort of inspiration you know that light blue to white that is so nice man wow but i don't uh, no not in the uk not in the uk because you step out the the house you're finished oh my lord they look clean they do look nice man look at that tongue wowzer but yeah we've got the tn marseille Got another Nike Dunk Low. I'm bored of those, bro. I'll be honest. Um, what else we got? Yes, Sneaker Jossie. What's happening, my brother? These one a lot of people are waiting for. The Frozen Moments. Uh, the Jordan 4s. These are nice. Allegedly 26th of August. Now, obviously, they always get pushed back. Like these sort of releases. Just to generate a little bit more hype, you know. I know how these companies work. But yeah, it's very clean colorway. A lot better than I've like the, the first sort of product shots. I think they're gonna, they're gonna be like a bit more hype than people are claiming to be because it's got those sort of off white vibes, you know. Um, but yeah, very nice, very nice. What's happening, people? Don't forget to like the video for me. You know, gotta pay my bills. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> but yeah, very nice colorway. Who's going for these? Because I know. A lot of Jordan 4 people do like these, you know, surprisingly. Like, obviously, the shiny bits, it's a bit questionable, you know, to say the least. But I do like them. I like the suede. Yeah, they're nice. They're nice. They are nice. Uh, well, uh, yeah, another one. Another controversial one, just for the sake of it, eh? Uh, the Union, obviously, Jordan 1, I think it's probably the worst one they've done. The original ones they did, they did wowza, man. Honestly, but just look at this. It's like Frankenstein's shoes. But I'll probably end up buying them because I'm a lemon like that, you know? But I don't know, man. Can you imagine this shoe without the stitch at the bottom, though? Like, how nice would this shoe have been? Can you imagine? Like, the uproar, the, the frenzy, the resale prices. Oh, man. They really ruined a great shoe. Like one of the best sort of like Jordan ones that could have been ever made. If not, you know, recently anyway. Harry, what are we saying? Uh, got two fours, but don't like them. Really? Okay. Okay. Is it because they're not comfortable or what? Because I love fours. Like they're my favorite Jordan. Um, probably They were my first Jordan when I was like 14. So, you know, I have to always sort of like them, but you can't wear them for long. Yeah, I have to say that. Uh, what else we got coming up? Another Air Max One. That's a GS pair though. This one's for Sneaker Jossie. If you're still here, bro, this is for you. I know you like your pink. I know. I know. But that's nice. If they release that in um, adult sizes. Personally, I think that's a hit. Personally. Some TNs dropping. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Oof. Okay. OG vibes going on. Reverse great. Yes, I can see that. Very nice. Without the stitching, it will look like that BMX rider Jordan 1. Yeah, that's true. That is true, I guess. Yeah, I know which one you're talking about. It is true. But you know, with Union, they always sort of do, try to do things different anyway. Um, but shout outs to them, man. These are nice. Some Air Max Plus 3, Black Aquas. 
These are very nice. I like that blue. Jeez. Oof. I think Air Max Plus 3 is... Ah! Oh, that's another top 10 I need to do, you know. So those and the Air Max 97s are my next sort of um, top 10s I think I'm going to do. Because these are very much slept on, the TN 3s. Um, any word on the Terra Squad joints? Um, not really. Um, what were they again? Not the Air Force Ones, were they? Jordan 1 Low, Shashiko. I meant it didn't like... I didn't like that grave here. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Oh. Now, these I'm waiting for. I think these were sort of based off um, the old school Japanese toys, I believe. The toy boxes. Yes. Look at that. That's what I'm here for, bro. These are called the Soft, Soft V. MX1 Soft V. Yeah, Sneaky Eye Jossy. Which ones are those, bro? I can't even remember. Honestly. Uh, oh, yes. You see, Nike, this is all you had to do with the obsidians that you just dropped. This is all you had to do. Amazing, man. Wow. These literally look like a toy. Like one of those. Ah, uh, uh, this is what I'm here for, man. 30th of August, allegedly Wednesday. But yeah, I'm definitely here for these. Very loud, but we can do loud. These, I don't know, man. But the Tokyo Maze, they're all right. They're nice. In fact, they are very nice, but they're too, these sort of give me the old, what what period was it like? 2018 sort of cut to the Air Max 1 where it was a bit more boxier and it didn't have that sort of like sh that shape that us snobbish sneaker heads, Air Max heads like. And I don't know if you can see from the toe box area, it's got that sort of boxy look, you know? I'm not mad at it, but it's just give me those those sort of vibes. And I don't know, but I do like them. I really do. Very premium. Very premium. And the colorway is definitely got that sort of... What's that Nike Dunk, man? I had a pair. The, the back to school drop. Oh, damn it, can't remember, bruh. Um, you guys know what I mean. Uh, do the MX-97 silver bullet match with any color i wear a lot of black white gray and jeans you know what let's transition hold on a second because i'm still learning i'm still learning bro how do i do this are we back on full screen i hope so but yeah yes we are because i'm i'm like iron man with all this technology these babies yeah you see these these go with near enough Anything you can think of, yeah. You got the hits of obviously silver, yeah. You got the reds, the whites, the blacks as well, you know, and some grey slash silver as well. One of the most uncomfortable shoes ever produced, but one of the best shoes I have ever bought in my collection. Um, I don't know about you guys, but yes, I love it. I do love it. Now, why is the chat staying there for so damn long? One second, bro. Excuse. One second. Uh, hide delay. Oh, uh, okay. Did we get rid of it? Yeah, we got rid of it. See, Iron Man, all this technology, Bruce Wayne, Batman. But yeah, now obviously, everyone knows that the silver bullets. Like how <sighs> iconic, bro. Iconic. Every Chav's dream. We love it. Uh, 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 uh. These are a broski early review. Are oh, the Soph Sophies, I'm, I'm guessing. Yeah, man. Very nice. Very nice. Um, but yeah, to answer your question, Talksy, they match with a lot of stuff. It's just, just be prepared that the Air Max 97 Silver Bullets are going to be standing out a lot compared to your outfits, basically. And if, for the simple fact, you don't like loud shoes, try not to go anywhere where there's a reflective 
you know, like lights and stuff like that, because they do shine. They do shine. Like Rihanna said, shine bright like a diamond. What, what am I talking about, mate? Um, but yeah, back to Sheen, Sheen Square, Screen Share. But as we head back to upcoming releases, um, these are very popular. 9th of September, the red cements. I'm a bit torn on these, I can't lie. Like, there's just something about that midsole, man. Those straps that just put me off so much. But I can get with them. It's just if they don't get delayed again, um, I think they've been delayed already. They're cool, they are cool. You know, I'm glad they didn't go for that sort of white sock liner because then it would have been basically the fire red freeze. Um, I just don't know, man. It just looks like it shouldn't go. Do you know what I mean? Who's spying on me here? I'm streaming, so don't say nothing. Wild. Uh, yeah. I don't know. They've been obviously postponed already. But what are you guys saying, broskies? Are you feeling these? Um, why are they uncomfortable? Um, I can't even explain it, but... The Air Max 97s, honestly, especially when you first get them, like they're okay now for me. I can wear them. Like they're pretty cool, but not for hours on end. Um, but that's just for me. For you, it might be different, you know, for you. Because I have like, I'd say other Air Max I go to, but the Air Max 97s, they're very like flat. They're very like not supportive. And, you know, they're just not comfortable compared to, I don't know, an Air Max 1, an Air Max 95. But some might disagree, you know. It's up to you. Um, what you guys feel is comfortable. Uh, but yeah, the red cements, nice. Very nice. It's just there's something about it. I don't know. Too much red, maybe? You could say. But yeah, what else we got? What soul supply got for us? Uh, another Jordan 1. Let's have a look. So the Palomino. Palomino. Kind of like the reverse dark mockers, if you will. Like the, from a multiverse or something. I don't know. Too much, too much brown, you could say. But it's very premium. The suede's are very nice. The hit of yellow on the tongue. Bit unnecessary, but I get, I get it. I think you needed a bit of color on these. Yeah, that is very not nice. But yeah, we'll see when they drop, hey. Jordan 1's kind of getting played out, I guess. But at the same time, it's always a Jordan 1. So it's always going to have people buying them. Uh, anything else worth... Yes. You see these? I'm after these. I am after these. Might have to be beans on toast for a month, but I'm after these. Um, yeah. The Craft Olive Jordan 4. <laughs> Very much a Travis Scott vibe shoe, but I'm digging it, man. I'm a khaki guy, you know, but a lot of people don't like them. And I don't know, man. I don't know. I think it will be better than the other ones this year. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so. I think it's just the brown, you know, the browns are very much in. Um, And yeah, this Olive Craft, SE Craft, the, the first crafts that dropped this... Was it this year? Yeah, it was this year. Yeah, it was. I'm losing days and years. But um, they were they pretty... what they did, they did all right. They did all right. But I think this one will definitely do a lot better. Just the colorways, the, the premium look to it, you know. So what's your thoughts on the reverse grape pluses you went past a few minutes ago? Uh, let's go back, Harry. You're a wizard, Harry. Come on, you must get out a lot, bro. Uh, okay, uh, where were we? You know, I like them um, just for the fact that they look like, uh, yeah, there we go. They look like an OG colorway. Um, and obviously the grape colorway in itself is amazing. So to reverse it was a pretty bold move, but it works. The purple, the gradients, you know, it does work. But it's just the prices of these Air Max Pluses, man. It's ridiculous. 170 quid. That's the only thing that puts me off with Air Max Pluses, you know. But if you can get a discount or on sale, of course, 
no brainer. Um, I like the white, white midsole, obviously OG vibes. The leather on the back, if you can, guys can see that, that's very nice. It's like kind of croc slash snake skin. Um, it's very nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is nice. When's it out anyway? 29th of August. Fair enough. This looks like it would have been ready for summer, man. They missed the trick here. But yeah, it's cool. It is very nice. For me, personally, um, yeah, I've got to just be careful. The bread's reimagined next year. Allegedly. Let's see what they do. But yeah, let's scroll. Oh, hold on. We ain't seen these before. We haven't, but that's a GS colorway. Uh, it kind of looks like a soft grey, you know? Does look like a soft grey version that we've had recently, but just a bit more mesh and less suede. But yeah, if that's in adult sizing, uh, a bit of pink. I don't know, man. Too much pink there for me. Like, if there was just hits on maybe the insole and not the outsole, I don't know. But yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Yeah, I love the great colorway, but don't own any. Yeah, I, I'm the same. I'm very particular with the Air Max Plus. Like, every time I'm like, yeah, I'm going to keep them. I'm going to get this colorway by this and that. I end up just sending it back. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, I don't know what, why, but I just do. Uh, I was going to show you guys a colorway. And I can't remember which one it was. Uh, yes, the DMPs. That's what it was. Okay, what are we thinking? Because the Jordan 11 is, like, we're closing in towards December. I know we're kind of looking too far ahead. But every December, we get a Jordan 11. And it's kind of like Christmas time isn't Christmas time-ish without a Jordan 11 dropping. And I know a lot of people are waiting for the Concords to drop. I'm waiting for the Concords to drop, but it doesn't look like it's coming anytime soon. Just because of these... DMPs coming out. Um, well, technically it is a Concord, but it's not just because it's not black on the jump, man. It's sort of metallic gold, um, you know. But yes, give me one second whilst I tell my wife to mute or shut the door in the kitchen if she can hear me. Right, yes. Anyway, back to business. I hope you didn't hear that, guys. Yeah, bit of a domestic. <laughs> yeah, but now we're all good. Um, yeah, the DMPs are pretty cool. I mean, it's kind of like the poor man's Concord Concords, but then again, it's near enough identical. Um, yeah, Sneaker Jossie, I ain't got the Concord, so I'm on them. I agree, man. I agree. I don't know whether to wait for them or just get them. Like, they're very uncomfortable for me. For me, I know a lot of people don't have that problem. But bruh, it's got to be a sacrifice I have to make, man. Because these look like, I can call them clover. Because they're buttery. You know, look at that. So, oh, man, smooth leather. Smooth. That's amazing. Yeah, I got I to gotta, I gotta do it, man. I have to do it, man. Just for the culture, you know. Dare anyone ever call this the Panda Jordan 11? Any person ever calls this that, yeah, is getting, I'm reporting them to, I don't know where, but that is just criminal. Panda Jordan 11, don't ever, don't even think of it. Oh man. No, not for me. Sold my Concord, still dead stock um, just before Christmas. Okay, Amer American Hype got to my head <laughs> no i feel you man concords con concords concords are the one colorway i don't think i've ever wanted to go for um but i don't know it's just something about them like recently it's just really getting to me uh see what are you saying on the balvins the freeze the jordan free balvins let's have a look i really like them you know and i think i'm going for them i won't lie look, don't let my missus hear me say that um but yeah let's have a look 
yeah, I, I do like them, you know. And I didn't think I would as much. But damn, son, they are clean. I love it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seeker Jossie, what are we saying? This has got your name written all over it, mate. Honestly. Yes. It's just a back tab. The colours are, are loud, but they're not. Rah, you know what I mean? Like they're, they're loud enough to be different and a J Balvin collaboration, but you know, it works. Definitely works for me. Very autumn. I'm a man, yeah. Vibes with a bit of color. I don't know. I don't know. You said it. I didn't say it. You know, I didn't say that. You said that. Um, yeah. I haven't seen that bit though. What? That's not elephant print, is it? That looks like, Mm, I don't know. Looks like a bit different on the toe box, toe guard area. So I'm going a bit too fast. Uh, yeah, very nice. Let's make this full screen. Ah, oh, it's very nice, man. That is tremendously nice. Uh, got to have them freeze in it. Freeze in it indeed, brother. Finally got it right. Not too much, but enough. Free bear. <laughs> Goldilocks, I'm telling you, the hill tab is a German flag. Ah, oh, don't say that, bro. Nah, I can't see that, man. No way, bro. How have you just said that, man? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me one second. I need to figure this. And hold on, let me just another technical hitch, ladies and gents. Uh, let me just think how am I going to do this yes okay that's cool right Um, full screen view there we go okay we're back there we go uh, exit studio mode screen share yes yeah Harry has burned my dreams bro I, honestly I cannot unsee that, man. I really can't. <laughs> ah, sugar. I wish I could look at it differently now. No, wait, bro, Harry. We're going to have words, mate. Honestly, that is, I can't look. Even that's even worse because it feels like it's a bit darker. See, that don't look as bad. Like, I don't even want them anymore, bro. But shout out to you, Harry. Honestly, it does it does look like it like tremendously. Like it's ridiculous. Oof, bit of scuff there already, bro. Jay, what are you doing? But they do look very clean. I'll probably still go for them and just bleach them or something. I don't know what to do. But yeah. Yeah. He's a bit of a weird character, isn't he? So he's always gonna do something a bit different. <laughs> Klinsman freeze. <laughs> Add up. Nah, nah, nah. I'm not even gonna go there. But yeah, the on feet pictures look blue not black yeah do you know what though i feel like these pictures are a bit um they've got a weird tint to them like these look a bit darker i think when this was when he was at the grand prix wasn't it uh see yeah it looks a bit more plum would you say like plum aubergine sort of like colorway oh, i just want to get his heel tab man oh look away look away kids one second, let me get a good picture and I'll stop scrolling. Oh, okay. Right, anyway. Uh how do I exit full screen? There we go. See? Iron Man. Technology. Yes, okay, here we go. I gotta unsee it somehow, man. I, I, I really have to sort of where are they? No pictures. Okay. So that didn't really help, bro. Right, can we make this full screen open link? Right, can we just press this? No, we can't. Anyway. Um, do you know what? It look, yeah, it looks a bit... How can you say it, man? It looks like a charcoal black. But in some lights, it looks a bit more blue. Like this one, look. If you see the, the stock image here. You know? Oh, I'll zoom out. Nope. Not Iron Man. But you get what I mean, innit? Like here. Yeah? 
a bit like aubergine sort of purple that that sort of vibe oh man yeah the on feet pictures look blue not black uh someone said they were away someone said they were they were away in some areas mate but uh yeah 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 i know what you mean we'll see though in it because like i feel like when they drop they'll probably end up looking like a whole different color some you know drops might look different you know how they sort of like different patches um to certain shoes uh like the heavy air max ones did like no shoe was the same maybe they'll do that you know who knows uh now nah, i went on a whole tangent bro but what was i even talking about the dm piece yeah um yeah they're pretty cool i mean it's a classic colorway you know i feel because of the lever it makes it more appealing to someone like me because one of the reasons I didn't go for a Concorde in the past was because the mid panels always were like mesh, sort of like that. Oh, I can't even explain it. It's like a nylon mesh um, and it was always like a dirt magnet. And when I saw people with stains on them, I was just like, nah, bro, nah. I've always had a soft spot for the Jordan 11, uh, like I've spoken about before, but it's one of those shoes you have to have a lot of patience and time to break in. Because if you wear these the first time, just know, bro, you better go for a massage without the happy endings, if you know what I mean. Um, but anyway, there's kids watching. There's kids watching. But yeah, let's go back to what else we got coming out. The reimagines. Now, this is another controversial one, yeah? The reimagines now, I feel like they need to not take it too far because... Um, if it's got that whole cracked, ah, oh, it looks like it does, you know. Like, if you can see that, the whole cracked midsole nonsense that the Jordan 2s had, the off-whites, excuse me. Oh, I can taste my, ba my bagel that I had. Um, yeah, I just hope they don't do it. Like, that whole cracked midsole on the off-white Jordan 2s, like, don't, just, just leave a classic alone. But allegedly, it's meant to be looking more like this anyway, with a leather upper, which is very surprising if they go that route because the suede slash nubuck on the sort of OG, if you will, it's iconic. You know, you sort of like, you know, you, you sort of think about a Jordan 4, red, um, black cement, whatever you call them. You know, you kind of think of that straight away. But yeah, it works for me. It does work. I mean, it'll probably hold up a bit better than the, the nubuck OG version. Um, because I haven't had, this is one of my first colorways I've got. I've got these in a black, black cats or black version, all blacks. When I was at 14, 15, I've got both of them at the same time. Absolutely buzzing. And yeah, they were just so uncomfortable for me at the time. I think I got a size wrong at the time. And my pinkies were just like inkies, bro. They lost the pee, you know. My pinkies were rubbing. And I think some of them rubbed off. Um, but yeah, anyway. Going back to these, very clean. If they go the whole leather route, I'm here for it. If they don't, I'm still here for it because it's one of the colorways, you know, OG and all that. Um, stuff like this makes the original breads less special. Only worn mine once. Fair enough. Imagine OG stands if they make them leather. Heads exploding. I agree, bro. Both of you, I agree. Um, do you know what, though? I think maybe that's what it is the whole point of them doing it the, the the leather version um just so the hype is still surrounding that sort of like what was it 2018 drop um 2018 2019 um yeah i don't know i think nike are just trying to do a lot of things different when they just shouldn't you know but yeah i'm still here for it though like it would i just hope it doesn't look like this cheap leather that, that it looks like it is on the mock-ups you know but let's hope. Yeah, a lot of OG though. Going back to your comment, Sneeko Jossie. The OGs, <laughs> they're going to be like acting as if you're wearing a mid or a Jordan 1 mid or like, you know, some sort of outcasted Jordan 4 or something. Like, let me wear what I want to wear. Okay. But when is the actual alleged release? There was it was February. Yeah. Uh, 17th of February. Right near my birthday. Hmm. It's just giving me an excuse. Hmm. But yeah, I have to. Yes, that's just one of them things. It's just got to happen. It's meant to be. You know, it's fate. Pitchforks for real, bro. Heads of wool roll. 
like Greg's. Uh, okay, I think that's about it for upcoming releases that I'm sort of into. Uh, I've got a Gore-Tex Jordan 6. That'll be interesting. Very interesting. That is nice. Man, you know the thing is with 5 and 6s, yeah? I just think the tongues are just so bloody weird. And I love them, yeah? I love them shoes. But I feel like the 5s had too much tongue. And the 6 does, doesn't have enough. Like, it just looks so flimsy and feels so, like, rough and weird. Um, and I've got skinny joints, so it's like I don't have no padding to my ankles, bro. So I'm going to feel all of that plastic up in there, you know? But yeah, do love a Jordan 6 and a Jordan 5. Shouts to them. Uh, what else we got? Yeah. The Royal Re uh, Reimagines. Royal Blues. Ah. Not a fan. I'll be honest. I really want to like them. But I just don't like the suede, man. I really just don't. I'm not feeling the suede. And it sounds controversial. And it sounds snobbish. But they should have just did what they did on the bloody um the chicago's the reimagined um i can live without them yeah yeah i know what you mean it's one of them shoes <laughs> i like the cracked leather and all of that but somebody's look look at this it looks like a fuzzy it looks like my aunt before she shaved bro like it just looks too hairy to be on a jordan one of this colorway like everyone knows that OG Royal Blues to be nice, leather, creased up, worn, you know, naturally aged. But this, it just looks too fuzzy, mate. Looks like my back at the moment. <laughs> what? Sorry, bro. Anyway, yeah. Some pictures, it looks cool. Some pictures, it just really puts me off, bro. Like, look at this blue, man. The toe box is just, look at that. Looks like 3G AstroTurf, bro. It's just not nice, man. Yeah, I don't know. It, uh, but I don't think this is the actual one because if you look, the ankle collar is suede, yeah? But then if you see the mock-ups, the mock-ups have that cracked leather like the Chicago's. Do you get what I mean? So someone's lying here. You know, someone's lying. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Fourth of November. I can do with that without these, like Sneaker Jossie said. And it's it's a shame because I've never had the Royals, um, the OG Royal Blues. And yeah, it would have been one of those things where, uh, yep, that's me. If it, if it was leather, if it was OG style, yep, that's me. But nope, nope, it's not me. Um, I'll have to skip this one, I'm afraid. Um, yeah, it's, I don't know, man. They did too much to it. And they just should have just left it alone. So 12 people in the chat, give us a like on the video. Hit them algorithms so we can beat the matrix. Um, yep, another weird one. Another weird one. The OG satin reds. I feel like this is a women's, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's not. It's a full size run by the looks of it. Another one where they just, why the, f oh man, I'm getting worked up, bro. And I probably weren't even going to buy him anyway. But they did this with the bloody paintings last year, no? Was it last year? Just give us the OG, mate. It's not bloody hard. Give us what we want. It kind of looks like an, a knockoff to the knockoffs. Like a knockoff to the KOs, you know? I'm, I'm just not on it, man. Not on it. I'm not mad at the satins. Like the satin Jordans of, of, of like previous. But it's too saturated like the red you know but yeah i don't know what are you guys thinking you feeling these what are you guys thinking technically the breads you know oh we don't say that sorry jerry mr lorenzo how long we've been streaming for bro because boy i could just hear my missus like her <laughs> no, i'm joking she's cool she says hi by the way um yeah, it's too shiny, man. It's too shiny. The red is just too, like, you know? Another thing is, like, those uh, eyelets. The black... Nah, bro. It's not for me. Not for me, brother. Let's go back. Ah, no. We lost our way. Uh, 
Yeah, Jossie, what are we saying? The um the bronze. Air Max one bronze. No, these ain't the bronze. I'm bugging out. You see another orange Air Max one. You see what I'm saying? What I said earlier. There's too much orange on Air Max ones right now. And it's saturated, man. Yeah, these are the bronze. Oh Jossie, what are we thinking? You see what I'm saying? Ah, this this has proved my point. So okay, let's let's scale back a bit, yeah. So we've had the Monarchs, what, 2020, 2021? Then we had the Magma Orange. And along the way, I swear we've had another Orange Air Max one. N now, recently, 18th of August, we've got this, the Bronze. And then, October, we've got another Orange Air Max one. Like, bro, do something different. Pardon me. Trying to hold back. Yeah, Aiden will definitely get him. This has got his name written all over it. Like a birthday card, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, literally was going to say that orange in all different shades. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's getting a bit played out. And I feel like it's because of the success of the Monarchs. Like, I swear there's been about four or five Air Max ones in orange, like recently. I just can't put a name on it. But yeah, definitely, definitely. It's a lovely colorway, man. I think orange is one of my favorite colors, but it's like, because of the Monarchs, which, moment of silence, people. Let me just put me in full screen because i got all the technology. Call me Bruce Wayne. Okay, we in full screen? We're in full screen. Um, yeah, moment of silence, basically. I had to sell the Monarchs. I had to. It, it, it pains me to say it, but... Look, there's a gap. Oh, I can't even turn the camera. No, the reflection. Um, yeah, there's a gap right here where they were. And I need to figure out in my collection which sneaker is worthy to put back up there. Um, but yeah, so a moment of silence for the Monarchs, please. Very sad day. Didn't get a chance to wear them properly anyway. Uh, but yeah, we got a good price for them. We sold them for about 270 which I couldn't say no to. 270 280, something like that. But it's, it's one of those shoes where I was looking at them and I was like, they're a shoe that I'd rather look at than wear. And it sounds weird because I rarely think like that. But it's one of those things. It's like, I know as soon as I step out in the UK, in London, on the train, where people's feet are so fat and they just don't care and they just step on your shoes. Yeah. I'm just going to look down, I'm going to see a mark and I'm going to be like, oh, I don't even want to, want, to, want to wear these, you know? Don't even want to wear these. Um, anyway, sorry. Sneaker Jossies, I'm, I'm calm now. I'm calm. Uh, I couldn't remember, mate, but it's come to me now. There's another orange coming in autumn after the bronze, deep orange or whatever. Yeah, yeah, we, we saw him just now. Let's go back, bro. Uh, because I thought they were the same shoe. Like, literally. Literally, mate. It's getting a joke now. Nike, they are other colorways, you know. Look, safety orange or something. I just don't understand. But let's see the comments. Calby, Calby4. Yes, Erkin, what's good, bro? What's happening, my brother? That's what you are thinking of. Yeah, I think it's this one you're referring to, bro. Um, but it just looks like the safety, not the safety orange. It looks like the magmas without the yellow in. Um, I just... I don't know. I just don't know. It just don't make sense, bro. It does not make sense. It's lovely, though. It is lovely. And these are definitely going to go on sale. Um, Yeah, I know. The sneaker game has been pretty dead the past week or so. Or a couple, couple weeks, I'd say. Yeah. Um, what have I bought recently? Just the phone runners, you know, to be fair. Just the phone runners. Um, what has everyone picked up? in the chat what's everyone been buying um and the last other one i got which i did a video about which i bought by accident and i can't say too loud is these um yes my babies I haven't worn yet but i'm definitely gonna wear these i'm definitely gonna wear these the dark russet are these the dark russets i feel like these aren't the dark russets but they are, they are. If they aren't, they aren't. You know what they are. The Pata Air Max 1. Yes, the Dark Russets. They are the Dark Russets. Head's gone, bro. I'm 30, man. 
dementia is kicking in already. Uh, but you know what? One is one of the most worn shoes in my collection of the year. So far, anyway, it is the Rush Maroons. I have worn these so much, man. And I bloody love them. It's one of them shoes you can kind of rinse, but they look like brand new. Um, so you don't have to worry about upkeep and, you know, looking after them too much. But yeah, I love them, man. I do love them. What's everyone saying? Um, mm, 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 mm. Harry. Uh, oh, sorry, Calby. I copped to pay, yes. I, copped to, I ain't copped to pay since May. You know what, bro? I wish I was like you because sometimes it's just not worth it. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, which did you cop anyway? Which, uh, which sneaker? Harry said, if only Nike would add some khaki green with the... Oh, that's a shout, bro. Khaki green with the orange, that would look amazing. Like a Jordan undefeated fours. Yes, I'm here for that. But on an Air Max 1. Definitely, bro. Roman size Air Max 1 collab seems solid. Yes, yes, and yes. I'm definitely here for that. Just picked up the black toe. Very nice. The, the lows, yeah, I'm guessing. Um, see, I was torn on that, man. I was torn on the Jordan 1 low, uh, the black toes. And I'm kind of glad I didn't get them, but I know I'm going to be kicking myself at the same time. Uh, you go true to size in MX1. I copped a pair true to size, but they felt long. Got a half size down and they were too narrow. It's all lot. Bro, I need to tell you in a minute, yeah. You know the Air, uh, Air Max 1? It's complicated, yeah? Like my hairline is complicated because certain colorways, yeah, and certain collabs and materials on certain Air Max 1s, it's like a lottery. Like for me, the soft grays, I went for half a size down, yeah? Eight and a half. And I got them in early for a review. So I was like, let me chance it. They're suede, so they're going to have a bit more room. Luckily, they're okay, but they're snug-ish. Like, I know if I'm wearing them for a long time, I'm going to struggle a bit. But for casual use, and if you take out the insole, I know it count, It sounds a bit weird saying it, take out the insole on a half a size down with an Air Max 1, majority of the time, you'll be all good. Um, but there's some Air Max 1s where I go true to size and they're perfect fit. Like the big bubbles, for example, uh, the Air Max 1 patterns, when I go true to size, they're perfect. Um, but with the concepts, I have to go half a size down. So it's a weird one, you know. Air Max 1 is a weird one. It was a Gelkiano 14. Lovely shoe. Lovely shoe. What do you think about the Air Max 97 Icons uh, Flip Neon 95 colorway and the Air Max 90 Silver Bullets? You know what? I like them. All three of them. Um, I like when shoes pay homage to other shoes and sort of mash up different colorways. It's just... It depends on how it's done. Um, but these three are cool. I can't lie. They are pretty nice. Um, yeah. Or is it two? You asked about two. But yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, what would you say about Jordan 1 Low Atmosphere Grey? I can't lie, Roman. This might be another one. I might have to whisper for. This might be another one I'm off after. Um, because it is a very nice shoe. And I'm try I was trying to actually get them in early, you know. For a review. Spoiler alert. Uh, but I don't think they have them yet. Um, but yeah, they're very nice. It just feels like a bit... A bit... Of a poor man's Jordan... Sorry. Poor man's Travis Scott. I didn't say it. You said it. I didn't say it. But no, no. Honestly, I like them. I do like them. They're very premium. And they do kind of remind me of the playstation jordan one uh travis scott collab should we have a look let's have a look um playstation i don't know if it's just me but it just reminds you see what i mean do you see what i mean or is it just me is it me because it kind of looks like that you know uh air max one sizing is a myth i agree um fabs we had the Martian Sunrise Elevate Air Max 1 a couple years ago. Pretty nice, but weren't feeling them. Yeah, I know what you mean. There's certain ones that are just like, yeah, man. God damn. I'm such a rookie, bro. I'm so sorry. I thought I'd share my screen. What an absolute donut. You know what, my broskies? I love you for that, for telling me. Now, how do I do this now? Screen share. 
it's magic tony stark technology i'm such what a donut i'm seriously honestly need my coffee um but anyway atmosphere gray obviously kind of feels like the poor man's jordan one travis scott playstation um <laughs> red face moment bro honestly uh what was i showing you okay so you can see now yeah you can definitely see now the atmosphere grades yeah amazing look very premium especially this picture here look at that look at that level great 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 but then if you look at the playstation uh, playstation jordan um travis scott's yeah which is super limited can you see where i'm going with this can you does that make sense do you know what i mean or is it just me i don't know man yeah i know man this streaming stuff i'm i'm definitely trying to get used to this boy but we're working it's better than it used to be let's just say that but yeah what do you think is this too much of a coincidence or is it more i'm reaching let me know because it kind of looks similar in terms of the toe box but i feel like i prefer the atmosphere grays you know it just looks like there's too much going on on this but obviously they're unattainable yeah but um let's go back and just see the difference you see what i mean though do you get what i mean i don't know those are dunks aren't they are they dunks they are dunks damn it sorry yeah they were dunks but yeah very similar isn't it oh yeah i think it's the brown that kind of separates them but the gray do you know what i mean the gray it just sticks with me you see yeah my bad they were dunks god damn very similar isn't it very similar I feel like they're a mashup between those PlayStation Dunks, yeah, and the neutral grey Jordan ones, um, yeah, that's what I think anyway. Oh. But they're clean though; they are clean. I probably will get them in, and that's only because and this the reason I missed out on the black toes or didn't go for them because they restocked a hell of a lot was because of these i was like look let me wait out for these there's something different i don't have in my collection um that look like these sort of a mashup between like suede and leather and uh the black toes i feel like i've already got and it sounds weird like you know comparing but i've already got sort of a black toe jordan one or a couple of them anyway so i'm like let me go for something different you know um <laughs> oh mate what a howler uh but yeah very nice man very nice honestly i thought it was another shoe i wanted to talk about though so we spoke about the j3 balvins um the nike calm mules which was one of the biggest topics we were talking about the wave runners making a comeback as well but it was one more shoe and i bloody can't remember it now um comment anyway comment down below to see if it jogs my memory yeah, anyway, what, what do you think about these? The calm mules. You need them. Okay. Okay. I didn't get the Travis Scott hype till now, but okay, I'm facing. Yeah, yeah, honestly, the Travis Scott's, I just couldn't be asked with the hype, honestly. But yeah, these are cool. These are cool, but just not for me. And I think the khaki one is more my cup of tea. Like, that is, that is very nice colorway. Pardon me. Now, if that was on an Air Max 1... Or even a calm, not even a calm slide. If that colorway was on a Nike Benassi, yes, please. But yeah, these are meant to be coming. It don't make sense, but I guess autumn um, or fall for my American viewers. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, they're, cool. they're all right. That's not for me. Oh, how much do I think? <sighs> I can't lie. How much did the Nike comms go for? They went for about 45 pounds, didn't they? 45 or 40? I think there'll be more. They'll probably sit about 50 or 60. Personally, just because of the added strap at the back and the sort of more versatile approach. But yeah, 
I want them for around the house. Sold my phone, so I'll get these instead. Now, fair play, man. Fair play. This feels like more of a croc, you know, like a croc sort of style than a slide. I just don't know if I could rock them just because I just, I'm just, I need comfort, man. I need comfort. Do you have any Nike SB Dunk in your collection? I don't actually. Um, I'm just not an SB guy in terms of the dunks. I love the clothing, obviously. I've got the t shirt, but it just has to be really special. And the special ones are just, you know, how it goes. Like the hype is too much. The resale oh, almost hit the light off. And the resale is too much, so I just don't bother. But there are some amazing ones that are on the grill list, like the Tiffany Dunks, the Freddy Kruegers. One day, one day. Um, yeah, man. Alex, how we doing, my brother, my broski? Um, but yeah, what about you, Roman? Do you have any SBs in your collection? And Calby, yeah, anything more than 50 is definitely a bump. Honestly, definitely a bump. Oh, yeah. So we had the atmosphere grays. When are these releasing anyway? Because I might try and get them early, man. I won't lie to you. Because I haven't got nothing nice for myself in a while. US 10 180. Ooh. 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 Okay. E. We might. I won't lie to you. We might. Don't tell the missus. We definitely might. Um, Going to grab the grey pair if they're under 50. Yeah, do you know what? That's fair play, man. Bro, I've got the Nike Banassis, man. Not the Banassis. Yeah, Banassis and the Victory Ones. You just can't go wrong, you know? You can take them anywhere. But yeah, these are looking... Oh, for 180. Do you know what? Let's place a bid. What should we bid? Tell me, what should we bid, broskies? Should we lowball? Should we say, what, 150? I don't think they'll go for it, but... You let me know a, n a number and I'll bid it. Obviously, under what they're asking, obviously. Um... Yeah, what should we bid? What should we bid? I'm thinking 150. Because technically, it'll be about 180 after fees. Um, yep. Bid quietly. She's next door. 14199. Okay. Oh, you can see my address. I gotta quickly back out before you guys do. Nah, let me go back. I'll do it on my own. <laughs> I'll do it on my own. Because <laughs> I don't want to link my uh, leak my address, obviously. Not that anyone's going to come, but do you know what I mean? Uh, is what it is. Ooh, recently viewed. Ah, uh, guilty. <laughs> guilty. But yeah, let's check out some Air Max 1s on StockX. Why not? Because I always find I'm searching up Air Max 1s on StockX for the fun of it. Um... And you can find some real gems on here that like, you know, that you even like get way under retail or resell, um, sell prices, you know? Oh man, there's too many though, bro. Honestly, the crepe hemp's, what an amazing shoe, man. What an amazing shoe. Yeah, not much more than retail. MX one prices are down. I agree, Roman. I can't keep up with MX ones at the moment. New colorway every week, bro. I'm telling you, they're moving like dunks and they really shouldn't. You know, you're right. Uh, they can hear you, by the way. Um, yeah, pull another fifteen. Yeah. Okay. Well, let the thousands of people know that that your car needs screen wash. Did you guys hear that? So that means get off your fat ass, Erkin, and put some screen wash in my car. I will do that. Thank you. Can I get a uh, a tea, please? Thank you. I think that works. All right. Thanks. These were nice. Now, these were very nice. I just haven't seen them. Was these a Japanese exclusive? I'm guessing. Um, what else are we saying? Chili Michael. Yeah, the Michael Greens were very nice, man. Uh, What's Harry saying? Bid a little more or less. They have the processing fee and postage. Yeah, I agree. I agree. But don't say that now. Say that in about 20 minutes. Um, <laughs> yeah, Chili Micas. Uh, I've got the Crep Hemp's. Those are fire. Berlin is loving them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet. I've only started liking the Hemp's 
a one the hemp ones recently yeah man honestly it wasn't a grower for me but where are they they're up there um they weren't a grower for me but i just took them away on holiday and i couldn't take them off i just couldn't i love them i was looking at the hemps on ebay nothing under retail in my site yeah honestly they did sell out yeah but it's like i don't know like they're just it is ridiculous the prices and the ones that are sitting are like sort of smaller sizes you know um where were we so these came out in march and how did i miss these man these look very nice i like the tongue the old school nike logo but it's just that midsole in it something about that midsole it just looks like a dehydrated person going number one you know but it's a very nice colorway i love the green i really love the green how much are they going for See, it was a women's exclusive i thought so so what would i be i would be what would i be again uk9 it wouldn't be a uk9 women's no i don't think it would be i'm more on a us men's size so it'd be a us 11 i think anyway women's conversions on honestly bro never got the gist of it too much um i was looking at hemp on ebay yep i read that one puma blaze disc og also crazy was thinking about him puma's super slept on man that midsole is like dirty denims yes very much too yellow of putting crepes fire apart from that yeah honestly man but you know what i feel if you swap out the laces with just pure white it might balance it out but i'm not trying to pay that money and then realize no it hasn't balanced it out and then we're back to square one that back tab is just nah just not doing it for me bro so men's uk yeah so men's nine is a you is it okay women's ten and a half so basically i'm a ten and a half i don't know though i don't know i'm not risking it it's not one of those shoes i'd really buy but if i could buy for retail yes or under retail you know you need to go half a centimeter bigger in women's size oh okay i get you so uk nine and a half then i guess um women's um yeah it's all right it will do i hope i'm not pressing any buttons on the ipad yeah it's very nice oh thank you whoa 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 no wait come on yeah thank you ah, it's hot thank you shout out to mrs broski that is hot Ugh. but yeah very nice colorway and you know what this is the problem with mx ones there's so many so many coming out yeah and you kind of miss certain gems just because you can't keep up and i feel like it's a good thing and a bad thing because you can always go back and get them under retail on certain resale uh, platforms but at the same time it plays it out so much like look what happened to the dunks obviously um the new balance 550s like all these shoes you know uh ch -ch 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 -ch. going for those wave runners grills for me yep i'm with you bro stringer that's a cool name um i wear 27.5 centimeters and my women's size is a 28 okay fair enough okay okay thoughts on the shima shimas great colorway and for me i think on my pair from what i can remember ah uh, what was it a thing was it qc i can't something made me not keep them and i just couldn't be bothered to get them again i think i had like a scratch on the midsole uh the mud guard on the suede and it really put me off but honestly one of the best colorways to drop this year such an amazing color look at that oh that's the shoe i was meant to look at which this sneaker has just reminded me bro so calby thank you broski thank you because i was meant to look at the air max one and size collaboration but i don't think they're on here yet but that is one shoe i'm after no they're not on here yet i don't think nah um but yeah let's go to nike air max one 
uh, size collab. Hopefully, we could honestly go to the website, uh, the size, not website. Oh, okay, hype beast, I've got them. Yeah, this is a bloody amazing colorway. Uh, sorry, Roman. Um, on Instagram, they swapped some releases. Uh, the soles on Photoshop. Okay, with white instead of these yellowed soles. So much better. For example, the MX186 Safari Nike F up the soles on some releases. Yeah, I agree, bro. Honestly, Roman. And you know what? I feel like they should give us options. And I know it sounds a bit, you know, entitled. But at least give us some sort of like pen or something to like correct it. Do you know, that's, I don't know. There probably is something out there, but you know, I just don't know about it. Uh, so size previews and exclusive Nike MX1. Now this, honestly, I can't believe I missed the event. Like I had a flipping invitation to go and I just forgot all about this whole thing. So I could have seen this in hand, in my hand, but I didn't go. Yeah, amazing colorway, premium materials all way round and a very clean, Air Max One. It's sort of a mixture between the Shima Shimas with a crepe hemp and another colorway that I can't think of. But that's what it kind of looks like to me. But a very unique one. It's sort of got this like brown denim mud guard with the mini Nike swoosh banging. Um, sort of a suede underlay uh, with new buck Nike swoosh and that sort of hemp style to the tongue which is really nice. Let's go full screen because we've got, we're Tony Stark with the technology, you know. Um, oh, wow, man. One of the best collabs I've, like, obviously, I do sort of judge too early, but bloody hell, mate. You have to give it to him. Um, how do these size collabs work, mate? Are we getting these? You know what? It might be one of those UK things with size, but you just don't know because... Um, I think it might be a Europe thing. Um, but then again, resell, resell uh, I don't know. It's, it's a tough one, a Jossie, I can't lie. Because if you look, uh, somehow, if I can get the technology to work. Um, if we got on StockX, for example, yeah. Um, I don't know if you guys got these, because this is one on my, on my hit list, yeah. But I'm, I'm guessing it will still be sort of like one of those things. Um, because obviously size is owned by JD. JD does still have that global connection, obviously, in the, in the US and stuff like that. But I I can't really tell, bro. I really can't. Um, Roman, these are solid, man. The tongue also. Correct, Calby sells fine. He yellow ain't, yeah. 100%. 100%. Like, it's just, there's that thing where it's like, there's a fine line between yellow snow, you know what I mean, and, and cream or off-white or sale. And they just do it too much, man. I hate the middle grey part. Uh, but they put a colour on that. So many shoes. I like the old version more. I prefer this pair. Such a grail. Yeah, I know what you mean. The old pair. But this, this is, honestly, this is going to be a problem. This is going to be a problem. I'm trying to figure out the back tab, man. But there's no sign of it. And there were some leaks. Do you know what? There were some leaks. Uh, pictures from the event that they had them in hand. What are they calling them? Brown. Oh, okay. Let's just go to Instagram. Yeah. Let's just go to Instagram. That would make things a whole lot easier. Full screen. Because we got the technology. Check my search history. Uh, what was I checking? Size. Oh, get off, man. This is tragic Instagram on the bloody desktop. Right, size official. Here we go. Can we not change this view? I'm getting old. Technology, bro. Get off. Uh, where were they? Someone had them in hand. Or well, they had them in hand, rather. Uh, right, bear with me, bro. Yeah, it was this event, basically. It was a size previews event. Um, here we go. It was like a, oh my gosh. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that. Oh man, how can you not like that? 
It's even got some. Is that what does it say? Sample in the in the inside the sock liner. What does that say? I think yeah. I think it says sample. I'm trying to look at the back tab. It looks like it's in white. And remember, this might not be the final product. Obviously, samples mean sample, which means they could have a little tinker with it. Do you know what I mean? Like Hatfield. Um, but yeah, I really like these, man. Honestly, probably one of my favorite drops of the year. If I'm honest, uh, trying to go through. Here we go. Nah, man, it's not even a one. There's no signs at the back tab, bro. What's going on? Uh, I prefer this pair of well. Isn't StockX full of fakes? Eh. I, I, I'll be honest. I don't want to jinx myself, but I have never had a problem with StockX. And I feel like it depends on the shoes. And if you're going to risk what, sh like the shoe, the type of shoes you're risking. Do you know what I mean? Like Jordan 1s, they're so easy to fake. Would you risk it for a biscuit? But I feel like if you know your stuff, you could tell straight away. But at the same time, I've never had a problem with StockX. Um, best Air Max 1 colorway is going for under retail on eBay, by the way. Oh, ETC, sorry, at the moment. Um... Do you know what? It's, I'm going to have to say, bro, the ones I copped, the Rush Marines and the Patters, uh, both Patters, the Dark Russets. I got them both under retail. I got the Rush Marines for like 120. I think it was about 120, something like that off eBay, which was crazy. Um, the Dark Russets, I've got a StockX for around the same price anyway. Um, what was I doing? Distracting myself. Uh, Soul Supplier. On soul supplier, mate. We have been doing this for like two hours, bro. My longest stream. Congrats, guys. You've been part of history. Um, shout out George, man. He's one of the guys that I first spoke to in the industry when I ha had about 3,000 subscribers. Fun story. And for, for those who don't know, he is obviously the founder of Soul Supplier, the biggest retail affiliate marketing company. In Europe, if you ask me. Uh, I think I found it on the website, man. I'll be honest. Uh, okay, so let's just go back. Soul Supplier. Anyway, what I was going to say. Um, they had it the other day, bro. Right, Air Force One, Air Max One. They had like leaked images of the shoe. Uh, 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 uh. We had a moan about the... Um, oh, these are nice. Athletic department. We did look at these before, didn't we? These are very nice. The teal. Yeah, we did. For those who didn't see that stream, you can lock in. Uh, check. Ooh. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. This is what we want. Some khaki on an Air Max 1. Oh, I kind of feel like they missed a trick with that tongue, though. If I'm being really critical. Like, if they made that a bit khaki... Like the tab was khaki and like reverse font. That would be really nice. That is nice, man. That is special. I can't lie. Um, what else are we looking at? We was, Yes, these we're looking at. I feel like they had a picture of the back. But I don't think they did now, thinking about it. But anyway, it still says upcoming, so there's no release date info, unfortunately. But yeah, honestly, one of the best colorways to drop, man, this year. One of the best sneakers, man. Um, uh, 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 it's mad how they sh the shape changes from colorway to colorway. Yeah, it's so true, bro. That's why the MX1, I feel like, gets slept on a lot because people just don't chance it. Um, Leo Nidus? Leo Nidus? Yo, I love watching your videos, bro. Those startup jokes are funny. Thank you, bro. Show my wifey a couple of them. Told her this guy always says some dumb, funny stuff. Oh, big up, bro. Big love for, for watching, man. Honestly, all of you. Yo, those Serena William, William ones are effing ridiculous. Yeah. She's releasing like a pack, isn't she? Where are they gone? Mm, these. Yeah, she's releasing like a pack. And I can't lie, these caught my eye as well before. Um... But it's a it's a sticky one. It's a sticky one. 
Oh, they are they are very nice though, aren't they? It's just they're not showing. Oh, we got a subscriber. What have we got? So just subscribe. And noop. Hold out you, hold tight you, brother. Yeah, that back tab. Ah, might be a deal breaker for some. But I really like the orange. I really do, man. And I've just spoken for about half an hour about how I hate orange, orange Air Max ones, but I'm liking this one all of a sudden. It's because it's different though. Like they've done something different, you know? It's not like an orange mudguard and an orange Nike swoosh, you know? They've done something completely different. But shout out to Serena, Drake's ex. <laughs> what? I'm joking, I'm joking. Man. Put some respect on her name. But yeah. Uh, were we a fan of these? Now, I managed to grab them. Ouch. Just hit my head. Now, okay, let's go full screen with the technology. Just remind me to share the screen after, yeah? Because, you know, we're still getting used to this. Okay. Right. You see these? Very slept on. Yeah? Very slept on. And I showed these in a the previous stream. But I'm going to show it again. Yeah? I'm putting this in my latest video that I'm doing, which I'm basically reviewing um, my favorite Nike shorts that I wear. Um, and it's only one pair of shorts in terms of style. It's the club jersey shorts. And honestly, the outfit I did with these, very simple, but it just works. And yeah, lovely. When do you stream, bro? Right, let me put this back. Hold on. Let me share my screen before I forget. Oh, let's put this back. Um, share screen. We did it. We did it. We live. Um, so basically, I haven't got a timetable yet, or like time where I do it. Just make sure you got notifications on, and obviously, following Instagram or whatever. Just because I do shift work, and it's a bit hard for me to like stick to one set time. Um, but I guess when work clears up and stuff like that. I'll be able to like do it just maybe once or twice a week. Um, the same time, basically. But at least once a week, we're going to get a weekly waffle on. Um, and it's been amazing. Well, how many hours we've been doing it? Over two hours? Oh, Mazza. I think it's about over two hours. Um, but yeah, man. It's been nice chopping it up with you guys. And I think we might leave that there. Just because I'm going to drink my tea in peace. Um, and I've got to do the screen wash for the miss misses in the car. Oh boy. Uh, Harry, I started liking these since you showed me them on your last stream. The green bottom panel is crazy. Yeah, man. Uh, Puma also want to release for the 50th anniversary of hip hop culture some heat. All OG colorways in one pair. You know what? Puma, I think, need a resurgence, bro. They need something special to bring like some light to them because i think they're just behind adidas like in terms of you know what people wear and i think it goes nike jordan oh it's controversial but i say nike jordan new balance adidas or yeezy then adidas then i think it's puma but anyway that's for another video um yeah, it's been lovely chopping it up with you, broskies. And waffle. like, yes, waffle, waffle. You hear her. You hear her. She's jealous. Um, but yeah, thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like the video. Put notifications on so you can see when I'm going live next and we can waffle on again. Um, big love to everyone in the chat. Uh, what do you say? Don't get tired of buying the same few pair of shoes all the time. I mean, it's the same. Do you know what? Just before I go, let me answer this question. It depends. Like the same colorway, or the same shoe, but different colorway. I sort of limit myself to like three, maybe four, five, six um, of different colorways, but it has to look different. Like it can't look sort of similar. Like I know people that collect Jordan 1s and it's just the same colorways, uh, same sort of materials, but different colorways and stuff like that. And I get it, but I can't do that. You know, it has to look different. Um, waffle waffle on a t-shirt I'm telling you but anyway that's the answer to your question Um, it, they have to be different enough for me to justify the purchase or get rid of something then I can buy it 
Uh, that's how I roll. You know, I kind of keep to a sort of a figure around 50 pairs. Um, I try not to overdo it. But anyways, 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 I love you and leave you lots. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Catch you in the next stream, next weekly waffle. And I didn't even do it full screen. How rude. Let me do a full screen before I let you go. Um, Tony Stark with the technology. Look at me. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, yeah, got a video coming out this week. So look out for that. And I do have an Air Max 1 review coming out soon as well. So keep it locked for that. Love you and leave you. Thank you so much for tuning in. All that good stuff. Until the next episode. Take care. I can't even do that because I've got a... Anyway, see you later.